A growing need for affordable housing here at home. Augusta Housing Authority recently reopened the wait list for Section 8 housing. In two days, they had 6,000 applicants, so they immediately closed it. 3,000 people who made it onto that list are still waiting for a place to call home. Hallie Turner found a backlog on the national scale is pushing everything back. The need for affordable housing in Augusta is rising faster than contractors can redo spaces like urban towers. But people say these new renovations aren't coming with an affordable price tag. You still have to run and struggle with where am I going to live? What's happening with me? My children. Gary and Henry feels affordable housing in Augusta is anything but affordable. You have individuals over there that are paying $900 a month, $700 a month. I don't see that being possible because this is public housing that we're talking about. You know, this is not luxury living. This is public housing for low income. According to Zumper's national rent report, Augusta's ranked as the 90th most expensive city to rent. The price of one bedroom units in Augusta averaged $930. Two bedroom units are averaging over $1,000. People want to know where am I going to lay my head? that I can afford. The Housing Authority says as soon as they find a house for someone, the list grows beyond their means to fill. We generally keep a high 90%, like 96, 97% occupancy rate in our public housing units. Uh, so that means that we don't have a whole lot of excess capacity to put more people in housing. For now, they're working with what they've got. Walton Green Apartments will soon house 420 units. We anticipate uh, occupancy starting in September this month. Uh, and should be fully occupied by the middle of next year. Urban Towers is still being remodeled one section at a time with people still in it. A $24 million renovation of that property right now. It is under construction as we speak, um, but we only receive three to four million dollars a year. And so it, uh, that's a multi-year project that we're doing in stages. As we receive funding, we add on more floors that will be renovated. In Augusta, Hallie Turner on your side. The Housing Authority says they're getting to the bottom of their list of applicants and they'll soon be ready to open up their public housing portal again soon. But for more information on how you can apply, you can go to our website at WRDW.com.